Now we're all familiar with superheroes on the big screen, like Superman and Captain America. But what about superheroes who exist in this reality? Well, if you ever wondered about that, you're in luck. I'm the Third Eye Mystic, Niema, and this is Unexplained Possibilities, Five Real Life Superheroes. Dave Hartsock. Skydiving can be one of the most adrenaline-filled, eye-opening, and fear-conquering activity one can do. However, on the flip side of that, if something goes wrong, it soon becomes the most terrifying thing in the world, and few survive skydiving mishaps. Dave Hartsock, however, went above and beyond to ensure the survival of first-time jumper Shirley Didgert. Shirley Didgert's first jump was tandem dive with her instructor Dave Hartsock. Everything was going fine until Didgert's parachute did not open. Now in a horrific freefall, Hartsock was somehow able to position himself below Didgert, taking the impact as they both hit the ground. The impact of the fall shattered the spine of Dave Hartsock, paralyzing his body from the neck down. They both survived. Peter Hain. On October 5, 2008, in New Zealand at Waioika Gorge, 18-year-old Peter Hain was in his home when he heard what sounded to be a loud crash. Hain goes outside and sees a semi-trailer truck that had careened over the edge of a cliff in the dead of night. The cab of the large truck comes to a stop while dangling above the gorge below with the driver trapped inside. This is when Peter Haynes springs into action, smashing out the window and pulling the driver to safety with his bare hands. Very much like a scene from an action movie. Without thinking of his own safety, Peter climbed onto the teetering truck, dropped into the narrow gap between the cab and the trailer, and smashed through the cab's rear window. He then carefully helped the injured driver climb to safety as the truck continuously swayed beneath their feet. Peter Hain undoubtedly saved the driver's life. In 2011, Hain was awarded the New Zealand Bravery Medal for his heroic act. Jim Sherman. Have you heard the saying, blind leading the blind? Well, in the case of Jim Sherman, it has nothing to do with being clueless, but actually being blind and leading another blind person to safety. Jim Sherman, who has been blind since birth, heard his 85-year-old neighbor, Annie Smith, crying for help as she was trapped in her home, which was going up in flames. Sherman, hearing his neighbor, rushes out of his home to help her. Using his walking stick and swinging it side to side to feel familiar grass and using the fence, finds his way over to Annie Smith's home from his trailer in the next lot. Once he reached the woman's home, Sherman immediately heard crackling, smelled smoke, and felt intense heat. He somehow managed to find his way inside and located his frightened neighbor, who is legally blind. Sherman grabs Annie by the arms and walks backwards as she walks forward and gets her from the burning home and outside to safety. Jim Sherman is the real life daredevil. Sharvish Karapetyan. In 1976, a bus carrying 92 passengers drove off the road into a reservoir. The bus hit the water 80 feet away from the shore. Champion Armenian fin swimmer Sharvish Karapetyan was finishing a training run with his brother when he witnessed the bus going into the water. Without hesitation, Karapetyan dives into the water kicked through the back window of the bus and began pulling dozens of passengers out of the back of the bus, which had already sunk 33 feet into the ice cold water. It's estimated that each person Garapetyan rescued only took about 30 seconds, allowing him to save person after person before he himself lost consciousness in the cold and murky water. Out of all the people he pulled out of the bus in that short time, an incredible 20 of them survived. And that's not the only heroic deed Karapetyans had done. Eight years later, he ran into a burning building, pulling several people to safety while suffering severe burns himself. Karapetyan 
received the Order of the Badge of Honor from the USSR and many other awards for his underwater rescue, yet maintained that he was not a hero and had only done what he had to. Warren Tiny Everall In 1988, on the set of popular TV show Magnum P.I., a helicopter, which was supposed to make a soft landing, suddenly careened out of control and plummeted to the ground. One of the pilots from the show, Steve Cux, was trapped under the helicopter in the shallow water. This is when Warren Tiny Everall channeled his inner Superman and ran over and lifted the helicopter off Cux. The chopper was a Hughes 500D, which weighs at least 1,550 pounds. Tiny's quick reaction and superhuman strength most definitely saved Cux from the crashing weight of the helicopter that was pinning him in the water. Although Cux's left arm was permanently injured, he recovered from what could have been a fatal crash, thanks to Warren Tiny Everall, who is now a Hawaiian legend. And that concludes Unexplained Possibilities, five real life superheroes. Thank you for all tuning in, and if you enjoyed and would like to see more lists like this one in the future, please drop a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow Unexplained Possibilities on Facebook and Twitter. Those links can be found in the description below. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.